morning everyone how we doing guys welcome to the vlog it's tuesday so we're back in with a snap on tuesday uh the crazy weekend is finished what joy we had so the first day obviously we did legoland on sunday uh stayed overnight on sunday had breakfast monday morning at legoland and then went up to the Harry Potter Studio Warner Brothers tour on Monday, which was, yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot to see. Some of the, I'll, I'll, I'll post a video in, or, or post some pics in, um, but yeah, some of the stuff that they do, wow. The mind boggles. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, it's rather cool. If you're not, it's still rather cool, to be fair. I appreciated the work that went into some of it. They got this one room that's probably a little bit bigger than my workshop um, and it's literally just one massive castle model um, of, of the yeah the Harry Potter castle basically they call it it's huge um, but we do a big walk around so you you can have, have a look at that from the picture but it's quite impressive um, yeah, Tuesday morning. Today we've got a camper coming back in. We've had it before. Um, I think we did the Sony. If I remember correctly, we did the Sony unit in it to give them bigger screen, better view. So today I've got to move the camera. He's got one of those standalone screens on the dash, which is garbage. We're going to move that to the Sony so he's got the reverse camera on the screen. I've got to do a little bit of wiring for the power to make the unit and all the accessories that he's got, like the toys, come off of the leisure battery, not the car's battery. So obviously if he's playing it whilst being parked up, it'll flatten the car battery and he's stuck. So we need to move all the power consumption to the leisure battery at the back. Uh, I need to mount something on the dash. I think he wants USBs put on the dash. So we need to do that too. I think that's it so it's a fairly a fairly busy uh, a fairly busy day <coughs> as far as um, work goes we've got we've got lots to do on one vehicle um, I've also had we discussed the other week actually about sponsorship on the channel um, and I've already had two companies get in touch which is cool so the first company are our electronics brand I'm not going to go too much into detail yet um, but they're not my norm, they're not my normal thing. They are what I do, but they're not normally what I'd sell. Does that make sense? Bit of a cryptic clue, but you'll see. So they've reached out um, and they've asked to sponsor, to do a review and a, and a kind of use of one of their products. So that's coming. Which would be quite good. Um, uh, yeah, so it could be the start of many. I've had, I say, I've had a couple, a couple of people get in touch. Uh, one company wanted me to buy all their product first and then review it, and then they give me a refund, which, um, frankly, I'm not really about. Uh, I don't want to start buying people's stuff. Does that make sense? If they want me to review it, um, this company. I've basically reached out, give me a promotional code that I can get the unit for free and then test and discuss with you guys and, and you know the internet which is which is which is the, the better way of doing it shall we say. Um, because otherwise you may you may completely dislike a product and then you're stuck with it. So it's good to be able to get the opportunity to have it for nothing and then do a check and test on it. That's kind of what we want. So um, I'm looking forward to it, to be fair. I've had a little cruise around the business and, um, you know, the, the stuff. So, yeah, fingers crossed it'll be a good product. And we can, we can yeah, talk about it. Um, but other than that, guys, yeah, it's a snap on Tuesday. Jody should be coming in today. I'm not sure whether we've got a new flyer or not. Um, we'll see what's on the van. Uh, my plug did get delivered for the charger the other day. Um, I think it was Saturday pretty much before I'd left Amazon to end up with this adapter. Uh, so I managed to tw turn it on, have a little look through it and stuff. Um, but as of yet, I've not really done anything much with it. Um, 
I do probably need to charge some batteries. I've got some leisure stuff that needs charging. Um, so we'll look into that in a bit, but we are, <laughs> we are off to get breakfast. I'm just laughing because down here there's a, there's a bus stop. Um, and there is a rule in the highway code. You'll see it written on the back of the buses that you have to let buses pull out if they're indicating and they, they want to move off you've got to wait for them that's the law uh, and lots of people try going into the bus lane to overtake the buses thinking that they're not going anywhere and you know don't pay attention to indicators and they get stuck in the bus lane as the bus pulls off so they've got nowhere to go and that's what happened to that Mondeo just then um, but I digress off to work get some breakfast I'll see you in a bit when I've had a coffee hope you're good hope you're well we have climbed on the subscri subscribers we are now 2020 that's good. A few more added to the list. Get your names down in the section, say hello. Um, appreciate all the comments, by the way. Lots of people getting in touch about the videos and how they like it. Um, I appreciate that because it gives me insight into what you guys like and don't like. Um, I know we do like the kind of start of day, the working of the day and the end of the day. Me too, I do like that. But at the same time, when I've got, when I've got flaky customers that aren't showing up, what the fucking hell are you doing? Jesus Christ, that was nearly an accident on TV. Yeah, when we've got flaky customers that don't want to turn up, obviously the video content suffers. So it's, it's difficult to put out a day's video when there's nobody there. <clears throat> you want to get off your phone, mate, whatever you're holding onto your lap. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to work, shall we? <laughs> I'm not that person that's going to cut you up, mate. You're the one that can't drive, not me. <laughs> you carry on, nut job. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now he's going to think I'm following him. We're just going to Greg's. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So you join me, um, we've taken delivery of the fun bus and we just silence this music. So we've got the fun bus in. It's a swift conversion Fiat Ducato type van. It's got um, some disability add-ons. So false floor, um, kind of bigger, bigger lift, bigger door for the chair. Uh, it's got a rail obviously to move the person from front to back So there's loads of bits and bobs with it now. We've got a couple of things to do moving the microphone into the middle Which I've just started doing Currently we have a mirror monitor working at the top here, which is doing a dual style reverse camera And by that I mean When you go into reverse the bottom one activates and when you go normal driver mode The top one is showing you what's behind the vehicle like a rear view mirror. We've got to segment that into rear view mirror always up there reverse camera going through the 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 nine inch sony that we've got in the dash um i'm just changing around the wiring because we've got to do a system off of the um leisure battery so we're not flattening the car's uh battery so i've got to move the microphone into the middle i've got to run a usb up to the top of the dash on a plug so we've got it on a port so we've just started running our microphone cable here that's going to go round 
through the dash to the uh, radio and that's now in the center um, following this purple cable here which is the extension off of that screen i've chased the thing down uh, into here <laughs> this mass of wiring um, so there is a splitter box which is just there that little white label that you can see just here with a purple cable into it that's the splitter signal for the av um, this is actually the reverse camera feed here now i've got to see if i've got one of these plugs to connect uh, an rca kind of type affair into i've also got some cabling i've got to track down the reverse signal and then we've got to extend that at the footwell over to the radio and then i've also got to do this is the controller for the power supply sergeant and it runs off of that board there now this guy knows about batteries and consumption and ampage and all that malarkey and he likes to monitor what's on the on the van so i've got to find a way of running power from the stereo on a switch through this thing here which then allows him to monitor what the battery is what the radio is drawing off the battery there so we've got a lot of work cut out today just trying to find stuff and you know get in and out of wood panels that were kind of built on the sides and then the floor goes in so it's difficult trying to get to everything thank god i've got some thin torches from snap on um but we're getting there slowly and surely i'm just trying to work things out so i'll come back to you in a bit when this one's in full swing i've got my little instruction manual here i've got my light i'm all good see you in a bit yeah of course you have where's your receipt yeah that's wicked the bus <laughs> oh, you bring the welder today, you f***er. Yeah, yeah, sorry. God's sakes, Joe. Just when the, um, Just when the, the popped up. It was in the lockup. Yeah. You, up you've been reading the comments on the page, haven't you? No, They're all like, Jody's, Jody's bringing in the stuff that you want. <laughs> what a salesman. Right. Fun times. Right, so we've got a new flyer. Yes. Multimeters. Yep. Um, bits and pieces and bits if you buy certain bits you get um the metal enamel cups mm -hmm. uh, you got multimeter wires cables that's cool different bits and pieces oh multi-terminal wire lead adapter that ain't cheap is it no they never are Woo. they never are yeah. yeah you've never been cheap those things that's cool these are dead handy though yeah I'm still waiting for some of those to come in. Okay. Yeah, so I have the mommy meat, it's just not the cables yet. Um, and then obviously some, yeah, so obviously some enamel cut mugs. And some proper metal camping mugs. Low profile hex. Shallow impacts. Locking wobbly extensions. They're cool. Yes. Yeah, that's a um, locking size. That's a quarter drive version. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> you need to get into one because obviously the socket locks onto it. Mm. So you don't lose it, you just pull the collar to get it back off. Oh, okay. So. Kind of like spring loaded stuff. Yes. And that's a three version then, which I don't believe I've turned up yet. Mm. There's loads of stuff though, I need to have a good sort out and get a bit of order. Absolute tip. Mm. Take that over there. <laughs> we like a, we like a lock in. Uh... Started, I think I've started to come a Mac Mac trading. Oh yeah. That... Oh, you have got loads of Mac stuff. Get rid of that rubbish. Just throw it outside, yeah. mate. We're yeah. just kicking around the car park. Get an auction on it. Also. You can give it away. What? Hey, like. <laughs> <laughs> Carbide scrapers. Yeah, they're on the clearance. I haven't got any, but they, they're if you want one, they've got to be ordered in. Spark plug service foam sets. So that's cool. Yeah, again, it's quite a nice set. That was that was uh, that's on clearance as well. You got them? I've ordered a few. I'll have a red one. Okay.
Yeah, small stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ, they're big ones. Yeah, it's for all that, um, that uh, master point shorts. Yeah, that's the, the board yeah, thing. Yeah, finally the other bits are coming for it. So. What's that, Mig? Yes, 180. Yeah, it's a 180 that was in the um, last week. What's that up for, 20 quid? 20 quid. 20 quid. 976. Yeah, it's one of our better ones. Um, mm -hmm. Put gas through it, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does yeah. it come with a regulator and everything? Yep, all in there. Here's your regulator. It doesn't come with is a three pin plug. <laughs> Obviously, it's um, did you uh, the comments were coming through thick and fast? Were they? Yeah, so you remember the charger? Yeah, so the was it the blue one that I had on the end of that? Yes, that's 240. Okay, then you've got there's different there's different kinds, so okay. it's not, not the case of lopping it up. I'll show you what I bought. Okay, but off of Amazon, it's like 19 quid. You get the proper adapter. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, well, you don't just need, plug straight in. And... Yeah, you don't need to cut it off. Oh, that's right. The, the colors. The, the subbies were telling me the colours denote what it's used for. Right, okay. So like, I think they said yellow was 110. Right. Like green is another and red okay. and blue. And yeah, they, oh, okay. all, they all mean something. That's interesting. I, I, yeah. I know for next one, then I'll probably grab grab one for next time. Yeah, with don't, it or whatever. Or... Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, don't lock them off. You don't need to. No, no, okay. Um, oh, nice. You used it? Yeah. Uh, not yet. <laughs> I've, plugged, I've turned it on. Yeah, yeah. Literally had a look at it, turned yeah. it on. Um, but I've been a bit like, mm, you know. Yeah, yeah. What's the warranty on that? Still three, two, three two years? Two years. Plus. Yeah. But a decent welder is, if you're looking at that sort of money, you can get a CD one for about 500 quid, but, mm. you know? So. I honestly, I didn't do it on purpose. No, of so course you didn't. I don't, to be honest, I rarely keep Check out his face, everyone, lie detector. <laughs> I rarely keep a welder on here. Do you? I've never really. I know. It's just because I asked about it, and then then pop the battery well, charger. Look at the look at the smile on his no, face. No, just to be fair, <laughs> I don't think I've ever kept a welder on here. And we no. had one. I didn't. I forgot. I'd I've never one. seen you with a welder on here. Yeah, no. I forgot. I asked about it. <laughs> I I forgot I'd order one on hot tools, and it turned out that so I thought I'd put it on because I got some trolleys to put on. I thought I put the welder on first. You know. Well, it's here, isn't it? It's here. It's here. <laughs> Dear God. It'd be the death of me, you are. I know. Sorry. That's all right. I like you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so what else do we need? Well, you've got loads of stuff on here. You've had a big yeah, that's what I mean. I've got like I need to sort out because there's so much on it that I need to sort out. It's just piled on top of each other. Mm. I got to sort look like, all these sockets and stuff. They just all need to yeah. Need to sort it all out and get uh, have a little bit of a work tidy around. up. Yeah. It's just like I've got a shack for shelf up there, and that's got. Oh, there's your three big ones. Know that feeling. What, um, is, is, I guess it hasn't got wire in it. No, uh, not that I'm aware of. It might be, I don't know. I would say not. Got a part number for the knob. For the what? It says it's got a part number for the knob. Titanium 150 MIG torch, 3 meter euro. Oh, 
Posh. <clears throat> I suppose I better give you some money and wheel that off then, haven't we, really? <laughs> you b****. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, uh, there was one thing. Called the cutters. Plastic ones? Yep. The, I've, I've broken another end. These no. ones? Or... Yes. Broken another two. I've nibbledy nibbledy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Purple. I know. We've got a new colour coming out this year, haven't we? Yeah. Power blue. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, the, it on the, yeah, uh, like yeah. a pastel-y blue. Yeah. Yes. They're, it's, um, it's nice, actually. Yeah, it's starting to come out a lot more. I see it, well, I see it's available in America, there's people who've been buying them in America, so I've okay. seen some of the um, sites. Yeah. It looks quite nice. Mm. Right, cool. Let's give you some pennies and get that welder off. Hello. Right then, everyone. Jesus, that was a mission. Oh, so, just uh, back in this thing. So, what we've done, we've run a line from down there in the fuse board all the way around here it comes up and it's under here and there is our little connection there for the sony and then the sony powers on and that's off of the leisure battery which is what we wanted key is irrelevant so that's that i've also powered up the usb down here that's now working his carplay android auto all that fun stuff camera unfortunately is still up here it's running for a splitter down under there now i've used a um almost like a breakout kit to be able to get one of the feeds off of the camera and run it into the sony but as soon as i disconnect the power or one of the feeds from the splitter box it doesn't like it so it's it, it must be gauging the voltage between the two of them somehow um i don't know the camera system it's not one i fit um but it it <laughs> Even with my my little extensions, my power, it's only S video, that little connection there. But I have the option to get two feeds out of it and you know power up the reverse trigger and all the fun stuff, but it does not like it at all. It protests every time I do it. So we've got two out of the three done. Hopefully I'll be happy with that and this one's finished. Oh when we move the microphone into the middle. But that's it, waiting on him picking it up. And then I'll come back to you and we can talk on there. Uh... Shh! Quiet on the set. Kids. <laughs> so, we're done for Snap on Tuesday. You've seen me pick up this little bad boy. Check this out. <laughs> so we got our wire spool feed in there. Um, it's Snap-on's 180 MIG. 180 Pro MIG E. So we've got torch, earth, cable speed, voltage, very, very cool. Um, obviously I need to order some gas so we can get a little gas hook up on the back. It's got its own little breaker and a bottle mount change to hold the bottle on. Um, I've got to find a decent plug for it. It'll probably need some decent power as well. So it's probably not going to like a normal socket. Um, obviously we've got the gas flow um, over here we've got the regulator the gas reg and we also got some 3 8 lockable extensions and I got some quarter drive lockable extensions look at the size of that how long is that quarter drive got a little hat keep my head warm set of cups the torch the earth extended and we've got some nice stainless steel tea mugs or coffee because we don't do tea we're not we're not that british so that's it finished for today all done um pick the girls up from school they're coming home and we are having pancakes this evening because it is Shrove Tuesday.
So be full, fat and happy by the end of today. Uh, get myself packed up and go home. I will see you all bright and early in the morning um, for tomorrow. So happy snap on Tuesday. Good to be back after a nice weekend break. And I will see you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.